Um, I guess so, uh, while Ryoko is, uh, taking care of some, uh, unfinished business, I might as well say, um, how are you guys doing today? Uh, I am doing pretty well, uh, especially, you know, every time I get to talk to somebody, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. And I believe that was the door that you heard in the oh! back. Sorry about that. Yeah, I just had to mention that... You know, again, I can't control what happens, but... Well, um... So, you were talking about how you were reacting to my first... Um, some of the first, uh, LPs that you watched. Yeah, and as well as the ones you did. I, I just thought it had a certain charm to it, and I remember... I, I remember exactly what you said. Well, almost exactly what you said. And you were like, oh goody, I'm charming. Oh, good, I'm charming. <laughs> you didn't have to spit it at my face, not just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I wasn't even trying to be charming or anything like that, but then I got so many stupid comments back then. <clears throat> and I blocked some people because I heard, Oh, you sound so cute or so sexy or something like that. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> a little of me just dies inside. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and then I get the oh, you sound like a boy. Block. <laughs> wow. Well. <laughs> oh, sorry. I I'm actually a person that blocks people, and not many people know that or report them. Well, see, I would not have known that either, but uh, that was a little too much information, if you will. But hey, that's. But then again, that's that's one of the things I do like about Ryoko is that she has this uh, this sense of humor that you don't get in anybody else. So what I'm saying is, uh, Ryoko, is that you are very unique in what you do, and you know, there there you know, it just goes back to what Mr. Rogers says, and that's. There's only one person in this whole world that's exactly like you, and it's you. Mm. And I t and take that as a compliment, if you will. Okay, I will. Even though Mr. Rogers is the one who said it, and my grandfather told me never to watch Mr. Rogers again. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. I mean, I I don't know why he wouldn't let you. I mean, it's oh it's... because uh, my grandfather thought that Mr. Rogers was. Uh pedophile and he only took the job as the PBS uh, show thing because it was his way out of being in jail. <laughs> well, I, I'll just say for the record that is completely not true, but I, I, but hey, I can't control what other people think of him, but I, as far as what I think of him, I, I just thought, you know, I really did enjoy Mr. Rogers growing up, like, oh, at least all the way up until he sadly passed away, but, but there's no disputing that Mr. Rogers had a huge light, uh, a huge, uh, influence on my life, and, um, and I'm forever grateful for that, uh, but as far as, uh, speaking of people that you are forever grateful to, is there anybody in your life, past or present, that's like that? It was my grandfather that was uh, that I was uh, forever grateful for. Well, that's 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 wonderful. I mean, you don't have to go too far into um, your grandfather, but I, I would have to imagine that he was a kind man, and he was been and he was nothing but kind to you. I I, I assume I could be wrong about that. Hmm. Well, he was very nurturing, that's for sure. But he was very overprotective of me. However, I wasn't his, uh, real child. Uh, I have a couple, uh, family members from him, but they do not accept me as family because I was mainly adopted. Oh, well... It's fine, though. i never seen, uh, my brother as a brother. Or my sister as a sister, <laughs> because they weren't inside the house. Well, well, I'm sorry if I brought up any painful memories to you. Don't worry about it. It's not painful at all. 
Well, I mean, I, I, I would certainly think so myself if I was in that same position, but uh, but I, how can I know? I mean, I've never been in it, so... Well, the thing is, my grandfather adopted me not because of that stuff that most people would adopt children for. He adopted me certainly mostly to uh, be like him. So, in other words, he wanted to raise somewhat like he want you know he wanted to raise a child like a son in a way. Uh, yeah, I can say that practically. Uh, he wanted me to be cultured, uh, studious, uh, an athlete, a everything that sounds inhuman. <laughs> uh, he wanted me to surpass him. And I tried to make that as a goal uh, when I was younger. I can never do that. Because surpassing my grandfather in anything, I can never learn 17 martial arts in my whole lifetime. <laughs> I can never be a black belt in all of them. And, uh, hmm. That's on the athletic point of view. I can never chop seven trees in a row with my hand. I could never have gone to a high school and a college at the same time having 17 part-time jo part jobs like my grandfather has. Wow. <laughs> See, my f grandfather is practically an inhuman person, <laughs> almost like an angel or devil or whatever the hell you want to think. But, um... He had a lot of vigor and determination, and he could do absolutely everything. Uh, I'm limited to my abilities, and I know that. Mm hmm. Like, uh, I know for a fact. <sighs> I do not rank 210. <laughs> 210? Yeah, uh. Wait. His GPA is o was always A or A plus or something like that. And uh, his smartness is over a level. And I was only 180. You were <laughs> one. Wait, GPA? Uh, his GPA was always A's. Straight A's all the time. Oh. However. Uh, what was that thing called? When you take uh, the inferments test or whatever what's called. When, when you actually uh, test out how um, quick you can solve problems. I can't do that. I, I can't be like Grandpa. <laughs> I, I already knew that I couldn't be like my grandfather. However, he has always given me determination and all that stuff, and I do try to be better than I am. It, that's always a good thing to strive for. Like, I always try to be better than what I am, and you know, sometimes uh, there are hitches in the plan, and you know, stuff comes up that you don't expect. But at the same time, however, I do appreciate um, the fact that you know I try to strive to be something more than what. I am already, but at the same time I realize I am who I am, and y you do n realize that you are who you are. Oh yeah! Uh, <laughs> I'll always uh, remember that. I always will curse myself for being too human. <laughs> but, uh, but aside from that though, I, I, I do, like some of the stuff that you've talked about just now, just about how you are who you are, I mean that kind of goes into what you've been doing on your uh, on your channel. What I've been doing on my channel is mostly bullshitting throughout the whole thing. <laughs> I am mostly throwing memories inside my YouTube channel of how I can be happy, how I can be sad, how I can be different types of emotions. Mostly angry. <laughs> mostly angry. I guess I, I, I want to have like a memory backlog of my channel. Um, 
Uh, and the darkest thing is, uh, I have uh, a video of uh, of me when uh, I pass away, and I told my friend to uh, put it out there if I do. Oh wow! So you really thought of everything. Well, yeah, it, it's no point for you guys to go, where's Ryoko, after, um, like a week, <laughs> or something like that, and not know anything. Because, uh, I do have a very strong outer body. I don't have a very good inner body. <laughs> That's, uh, I, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna go, uh, I'm not gonna, you know, not going to say very much. The only thing I can say is that um, I am trying to get a, a better inner body in the sense of like metabolism and uh, trying to lose weight. I, I, you know, and I'm doing a pretty good job of that. But, but as far as you know, having a good head on your shoulders and and you're having uh, in all of that, um, you 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 do. I, I'm not. There's not much else I can say about it except. You're doing the best you can, and that's all you can ever do. Yep. That's all I can do. Best I can. Hope I can get a little bit better. <laughs> I, I, I hope so, too. And, and uh, let's see, other stuff we could uh, talk about. Um... Oh, I hear that you were in the gym recently. <laughs> yeah, I've been going to gym. I, I just mainly out of, just mainly out of, uh, how do I put this? Um, Tell me. <laughs> well, just just to get better in terms of my physical well-being, because you know I, I I can't just eat the same stuff as often as I used to, because well, I mean, at some point uh, you're not gonna last long. And I just thought to myself, I'm not gonna last long if I keep eating too much crap, and I need to like start going to the gym as well as start eating better. You know, oh, uh, I can't eat better for the life of me, man. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm I'm trying like, what is it? Uh, drinking like, uh, y y like uh, what is it? Vitamix or um, oh, you know, like those uh those juices that you make with. Oh, that's horrible. Well, I tried it and uh, I actually do enjoy it. I mean, you just have to put. No, no, that's horrible for your body. And lots of people don't think that that's good for your body to have vitamin water or vitamin uh, juice. Uh, but uh, it only increases electrolytes, has a lot more sugar in it, and stuff like that. It won't do that good inside the body if you actually read everything that's inside that type of stuff. Oh, yeah, well, I, I don't mean that type of juice. I actually mean, like, using a, um, a mixer. Like, you know those mixers where you can, uh, put fruits, vegetables, ice? Like, it's like a mixer. Not, not... Not actual, like, not the juice that you buy from the store. Oh, so you're blending everything. Yes. That's a unique diet that can work wonders for about two years and then make you want to stop doing that after you eat bread or something. Huh. Well, hey, I, I eat quite a bit, so I'm like, you know, I mean... So, I mean, the thing is, I mean, I, I already have a good diet of, like, breads, meats, and stuff like that, but I needed more, like, vegetables and fruits. Uh, I see. So, more like a supplemental of a diet, you know, you know what I mean. Here's the thing, you can eat whatever the hell you want, and it can be greasy or anything like that. Just take a down shot of a grass shot, and it will be better, because that's, like, eight. Or ten vegetable servings. Yeah, I remember the one time you actually did take a shot of, uh, of what is it? Uh, wheatgrass. Of wheatgrass. I re I remember that video as if it was yesterday. It, it was so fucking gross. But yeah, it's a lot better to actually have that and have uh, as much greasy food as possible. <laughs> well, well, yeah, definitely. So I'm 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 actually trying to cut down on how much I eat and and stuff like that. Oh, I see. Uh, well, I, I want to say the same thing, but I was munching on half a hamburger from yesterday. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, <laughs> but, I, I <laughs> but I can't even finish anything right now. 
Yeah, well, you know, and by by the time you get to your 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 late twenties, I mean, you you can't really eat as much as you used to, and you know, and that's the thing. I mean, like when you're in your teens up to your early twenties, I mean, yeah, you can eat quite a bit, but then after a while, it's like you really got to slow down at some point, and that's exactly what I have done, and that's exactly what I am doing. I'm slowing down, but. In my teens, I had only eaten vegetables and meat throughout my whole life. <laughs> and in my 20s, it's like, oh, it's going to go downhill because I found out how junk food really tastes like. <laughs> and that's when I've been like on the addict train for like six years. <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't, I have not uh, filled myself with enough crap yet. However, the thing is, is that uh, even though there's like lots of bad foods out there, nothing is worse to put inside your body <laughs> than alcohol. <laughs> well, well, of course, that is uh, that's that's one of the things you try not to like. I, I mean, I don't drink personally. I mean, I I mean, like. I'm pretty sure you've heard of people that are straight edge. Like, these are people that don't drink and they don't smoke. The only thing is, I don't have the straight edge attitude of, I'm better than you because I don't drink or I don't smoke. No, if anything, I'm just better for it, but not so much better than you. I mean, that's that would just be a completely untrue statement. <laughs> yeah, Ted, you, I'm like five times better than you, but I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Yeah, thanks a lot for the... Yeah, thanks a lot, Ryoko. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. But then what? again... But, but no, no. But but for but for the fans out there, I mean, we, we do joke around. So this is just a, a very common occurrence. This is not something that she just does to make people mad. No, this is just something that we normally do, and we have fun with it. And Yeah, I, exactly. I can make fun of anybody, and it's not, like, completely heart-wrenching. <laughs> That's true. And speaking of Except other when people... when I do that with Dino. Dino can always calls me Satan. <laughs> well, well, speaking of people, let's, let's, let's talk about some people.